Time travel is something that we've all wondered about, and something that the internet is definitely obsessed with. Our topic of discussion for today is a photograph called The Modern Man, or more popularly, The Time Traveling Hipster, because, you know, it's the internet. Anyway, the picture in question is from the 1941 reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada. The photo is indeed authentic and unaltered, and can even be seen from different angles. It's actually the property of a local museum, and was first made public in a 2004 exhibit called Their Past Lives Here. In 2010, the museum posted the image online as a part of a collection, and the internet promptly responded with numerous claims that it could be evidence of time travel. Now, why is that? At first glance, it's pretty obvious that one person stands out. Here you see a man who appears to be way too modern to be in the 1940s. Many will note his casual attire, consisting of a printed t-shirt, a hoodie, and sunglasses. To many, the most solid piece of evidence here is the modern-day handheld camera the man appears to be holding. Six years after its initial spread online, the picture is still being brought up and talked about all over the internet. And of course, many arguments against it have surfaced. For example, what many people interpreted as a printed t-shirt could very much be a shirt with a sewn-on patch. Many believe the man is wearing a shirt with a logo of the Montreal Maroons, a hockey team that played for the NHL in that period. The so-called hoodie the man is wearing is believed to be a knitted sweater. So what about the glasses? Actually, sunglasses became popular in the fashion world during the 1930s after being worn by various celebrities during photo shoots. Sunglasses obviously also held practical uses before then as protection during outdoor activities such as sports. If you look at the photograph, you'll notice that the man's glasses also have side shields, something that many don't associate with 1940s everyday wear. While not exactly for casual use, side shields came in handy as extra protection for motorists and workers who required them. So, why did our friend here have them? No one knows for sure, but glasses like that were definitely available for him, no time travel required. So this leaves us with his camera, which many argue is too small and compact to fit in with the 1940s. This is just a classic case of misinformation. Unless you studied photography or you're some kind of art major, it's safe to say that you probably never really did look into the full history of cameras. Many who support the modern man theory assume that the early 1940s only featured cameras like this one, Big, clunky, with long exposure times and absolutely requiring a tripod to operate. Actually, these types of cameras are more commonly associated with 19th century studios, this also being the era of Victorian post-mortem photography. Unrelated, but still interesting. Anyway, by 1888, we had our first handheld roll film camera, courtesy of Kodak. In 1901, Kodak returned with a smaller, simpler, and more affordable brownie camera, which only costed a dollar. By 1925, we had 35mm cameras take off thanks to Oscar Barnack. For those of you who don't know, 35mm film is the film that we're most accustomed to seeing in handheld cameras today. That's if you still use film. Needless to say, by 1941, there were countless handheld options available. It's hard to make out, but he appears to be holding some sort of folding camera, something much more common in the 1930s compared to now. Because this is YouTube, people are going to argue that these observations don't disprove anything. While this is true, I also want to point out the fact that this photograph, on the other hand, also does not prove anything, and that we have no way of knowing why this man was dressed the way he was, unless we were there ourselves. The point of this video is to take a step back and to consider other possibilities as to why this man is so out of place. So, I leave you with this question. Given all the factors at play here, could this man be a time traveler, or are we simply seeing what we want to see? I'll honestly leave that one up to you. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions, then feel free to go to any of my social media accounts and drop me a line there. If not, then I'll see you all in the next one. No idea if that worked. I hope it did work. So I don't have to redo this.